episode 339 that we're doing the Christmas house. Okay. Welcome everybody to House and Garden Flipper episode 339, I believe. My gosh, that is a lot of a lot of videos. There we go. I still haven't gotten started on this place. It's a mess. But what we're going to be doing is um, heading over, as promised, to the last house in our portfolio, the uh, the Home Alone house. So. Let's go to the house and see what we can make of it. Oh boy. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Home Alone series, but this was a, um, a house put out uh, in celebration of Christmas one year, a few years ago. And uh, it, um, it draws its inspiration from that series of movies. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to just getting in and cleaning it up. Alrighty. On the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, they'll comment on your actions. Pay attention especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they're willing to pay for this house. Uh, I get that, but why are you telling me now on my last house? Oh uh, well, let's, uh, let's have a look around. So it doesn't look like we're going to have a lot to do in the garden. I mean, we probably could do a lot. I haven't really had a proper look at this garden in all the times I've played it. I think I pretty much ignored it. But uh, let's do a bit of a walk around. We might uh, pick up the trash while we're here. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. I think, I have to admit, I'm a little bit worried about this house. Oh, it looks like we've got a basement. Alright, mustn't forget that. Doesn't look like there's any dirt on the walls. But then this house came out before the, um, before Garden Flipper. So, so there's, there's probably not a lot uh, left to do outside. Which doesn't mean we have to ignore it right now. We can pick that up if we want. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, it looks like someone had a little bit of a party in here. Uh, I'm guessing... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I've got to pick them up and put them somewhere. Alright, well that's a pain. I suppose I could sell them. Let's sell them. That might be a good idea. Although it does seem a bit sad to sell them. We could... I know, I know, I know. We could just grab these things. And pop them. Except this is going to drive me crazy if I um if I if I then I don't know. But it is it's already driving me crazy. I think what I might do is I might just stick them all in a row. Over here, I, I probably should ignore. I mean, I, I have been ignoring the buyers on the right because because I want to actually think about what I want to do with the place and not necessarily what they want me to do. Um, so I know obstreperous builder. What are we doing? Let's just pick all of these up. You know, we could have those um, those shelves on the wall, those little shelves. These could be little collector collector's items like the matchbook matchbox cars are. There we go. What is that? Oh wait, are they bicycles? They look like... Oh my gosh! Well, I guess I guess we'll put those up. Look at that. 
love the detail in this place. Actually, I don't think we've seen these in the um, in the kids' toys section either. Like in in our, they're, they're not something we can buy. There we go. All right, this this little atrium looks kind of tidy. You know what? I think I think we might have a bit of a jungle in here. Just just something to greet people with, and maybe a dog's bed right here. We could just kind of go. You know, I'm letting my head loose already. Uh, if we go into hobbies, right? I think I think we could make this like a house where there's lots of pets and uh, and animals. I think we need something a little bit. I like. All right, let's let's do something a little bit darker. I'll grab this this dog's bed. Uh, do we want a different coloured mattress? No, you know what? I think I think we're going to have green. No, I, I actually like the black. Let's let's go with the black and the green, and we're going to pop that kind of there. I know, I know. And now we need we we do we need to move those things. Uh, I don't like these wall lights. We're going to modernise those. I might just zap out the Christmas decos just for just for the bit. Let's. Um, I know I wasn't going to start straight away, but but now I'm thinking about it. We have to. Uh, let's. Did I just press the wrong button? Clearly. All right. Let's grab. Let's grab our plants. I. Oh, we could make it really garish and do the cyberpunk plants from the cyberpunk DLC. And, and have all these glowing trees right in the beginning but I think what we might do is try for something else so so the, the person who owns this house or we're, who we're renoing the house for likes animals um, I'm just going to try I, I can't remember which of these plants is toxic okay poinsettia I'm not sure of I uh, don't know anything about different batch here All right, I think we might go with some of these. I'm not sure whether I want wild and woolly and tropical. Actually, that would be good. We could do a beach, a beach kind of theme, which means I'm going to have to change the dog bed because we could go with. Let's go with white, all right? And I'm just going to put that right there. Hopefully, it won't take someone's eyes out. And then we're going to sell this, but we're going to grab. Gonna grab our hobbies again. Uh, I, there's there's a part of me that really objects to <laughs> pets being called hobbies, but anyway, that's fine. Um, maybe. All right, I was I was gonna do a darker house this time round. I, I still like the black, to be honest. That's okay, we can have a little bit of contrast. I like the blue as well, we need that. Do we have any dog bowls? Dog bowls are good, right? We kind of need them to feed the dog. There's, there's no separate pet section. Maybe they'll change that when they put the pets DLC in. They'll give us a um, like a pets section. All right, so there's no, there's no dogs. That's right. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go back into here. Let's go into. I know I've, we haven't even looked at the whole house yet, and I'm already making changes. Uh, so I was thinking we might do something like with a bit of an ocean and explorer theme to it. So some parts of the house would be like jungle and some parts of the house would be like um, mountains and, and some would be like, you know, just something. And then we can have different pets and things all the way through it. Uh, so I don't know, let's go with floor tiles. I wanna have a slightly different entry hall. Uh, the light grey smooth concrete is looking good. I was actually thinking of doing something more uh, marble or porcelain. There's no no marble tiles in this. So I've got my little fingers crossed for the um, that the that's probably a little bit too austere. I've got my fingers crossed that the um, luxury flipper DLC. Will introduce 
There we go. We'll introduce some um, marble floor. You know, like you can get the marble kitchen tops. It'd be nice to see some of those marble floors. Alrighty, what else have we got in here? There's a, a light switch on either side of the door. I don't like it. I'm going to remove the light switches entirely because I like that. Oh, I know why. That was for the two separate lamps. That's fine. Uh, I have no light. No central light in here. All right. Do we have any kind of... Let's just grab this. I know. It looks like I'm, I'm doing my one thing at a time thing. I don't know. I, I rarely do that. But well, maybe I, I might just... This is really the house for extravagance, isn't it? So I think I think we're going to have a very modest I know, house for extravagance. Let's do something modest. Um, it's either the rotation. Yeah, let's do the rotation. Uh, we're going to make it light on light. I'm just going to grab that and stick that right in the middle of this room. I was going to put something on the walls here, but I don't think I will. I know, here I am just... All right, we are going to get rid of that. Matter of fact, I'm thinking that looks like the perfect space for a fish tank, which means I'm about to destroy all these cars. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I know what we want on this wall. What we want on this wall, and I, I'm, I'm paint. I'm doing from my decorations out now. I know what's wrong with me today. Let's go with. Um, I want to like you've got these, but I want something in yeah like that blue. But I want. I want. Um, I don't know if I can get it. We'll see. I want ocean in this room, but I want ocean with um with cars, like a like a beachfront. Actually, there there is a beachfront picture. Maybe that's what I'm after. All right. So I think what we'll do. I know, changing my mind already. What's that? No, that's not what I'm after. I want something with more blue in it. Um, all right, so I guess I guess the bluest the bluest car thing that we've got is this. Let's grab this big vintage car thing because it is pretty big. Oh, is it big enough though? Let's just check the size. <gasps> okay, yes, yes, this is big enough. Okay, we're gonna put this here as our centerpiece. I know. I, I'm. I have a magic paintbrush, and I'm not afraid to use it. We're, <laughs> we're going to grab our living room, uh, and we're going to grab our shelves because we can. We're going to grab, I think, these light shelves, and I'm actually thinking we want something in the blue. Now I'm not sure if that's the right blue, or if we really want something in this blue. Actually, I think that's. No, okay, that's going to be too dark. I know, I was thinking, yes, perfect, but it's not. Because now what we're doing is we're blending a little bit with the... Um, it's better than the other one. I guess it all depends on what you put in the background, doesn't it? See, that's better. Let's have a look at this one. I winced at this one, but yeah, it's too bright. So, I mean, there's our winner so far. Let's have a look at this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I know, shush. Um, we're going to put... That's right, I want to put a fish tank in there, so I don't know how much space that's going to take. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... How many cars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there we have the bicycles. The bicycles can be put somewhere else. Um, what I'm thinking... Is... I know, I've got to move this one down to about here. Is, um, we're going to grab, okay, can I, I can stand on that, that's fine. I know, well, all I'm doing is just letting the, um, the materials uh, that I find in the house inspire me. Or, or influence what I'm doing.
so I, I'm, I'm annoyed I can't send it things on the shelf because I just I would like to so this is a, a bit of a change of from our usual thing of doing of doing those actually what we might do just for the minute is we might stick these bicycles up here because they're going to irritate me so they'll be out of place uh, just so that they're not on the thing that I'm about to sell so I don't feel like picking them up again we'll just pop them kind of here there and everywhere alrighty my I'm still on the thing okay there we go all right now we need to change this thing and there was a there was a new thing that looked perfect for um it was a, it was a new shelf it wasn't an elf on the shelf either it was something else we it was um these these are quite new I'm thinking I kind of like the openness of that but I'm, I'm actually more inclined to this one so because the Nico the Nico light colored bookcase or the Nico bookcases Ah, let's just grab the white and change the doors and the handles stay white there we go are uh, actually wide enough to oh how annoying is that all right so what I was hoping was I was hoping I could put a Nico bookcase on either side just like a narrow one actually we could we could do it with one let's just try this we could pretend that that so I wanted to put it there but I actually need a half of one to do this all right so that's not going to work because it's actually the the middle one's not wide enough fine we'll we'll let that live uh in that case let's go find ourselves a fish tank do 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 no you want hobbies hobbies there we go All right, it probably has to be the smaller one, but I'm going to be greedy and try this slightly. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, it's the smaller one we need. We'll pop that. Turn the light on inside it. Oh, maybe a fuse is blown. Well, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> given that what that young man went the fuses. Oh, that's going to be annoying. When when it gets dark, we're going to have to have our lights. All right. Well, I'll have to fix that in a minute. Let's, um, speaking of lights, we need our light switch and we need a key rack. Because there are no key racks in here, I've been using um, these. And I actually might leave that one as blue. It may irritate me yet. Ah, oh, too late. It's irritated me already. Let's go with white. There we go. So because there are no key racks uh, that you can hang your keys on, I'm actually going to put that up there. Now I kind of want to put a mirror in there. Um, I know. Do what is it? Don't ask me. I'm not sure. I'm just going purely by instinct at the moment. Now there, there is only one mirror that's kind of looks like it's meant to be by the door, and I don't think I want to use it. But we'll have a look at it anyway. Let's go with decorations. Let's go with mirrors, which are in a nice separate spot. I really appreciate them doing that. Let's grab this. Ah. Uh, light gray light oh yeah there we are see it and it that won't fit okay well that answers that question uh, so in that case what we're going to do with our mirrors is we're going to grab we're going to grab our mirror module no we're not we're just going to go straight with the leader so we'll grab our leader You know what we could we could go a bit punky and grab this and maybe make it in the snow blue you kind of get your weather update before you head out the door and then we just grab this so this this house is like a, a real mix of your ultra modern and your, your antique see that's a contrast and a half isn't it it's fine we're gonna leave it like that because that's the best mirror I've got okay maybe a fuse is blown I haven't finished in here because we're not leaving it with this wallpaper I just need to think about what I might want to do fuses fuses ah there is another way into the basement oh man yeah I, I think we will clean these stairs I don't want to break my neck on the stairs coming down them 
Look at this. Someone did a very thorough job of messing things up. You're right, guys. This house is completely dirty. Alrighty. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Who who let the kid loose in here? Actually, I don't think anyone let him loose. I think. I think he, he decided to be to let himself loose. Alright, there's confetti and garbage everywhere. Let's just topple up here. Make sure we haven't missed anything. That was the fuse box that I've been looking for, wasn't it? Let's just pop that there for a minute. Uh -huh. Alright, well, I guess we do want to assemble it. Is that it? Alright. I'm, I don't know what I want to do down here. This place is enormous. Okay, so that's my outside basement. Fine, that's excellent. Maybe it's not that enormous. Right, so it looks like it's been used as maybe a storage shed and workshop. You know, we may actually keep that vibe. We'll just zap a few things while we're down here. I know, make me go down the garage, make me get the fuse box. Fine, 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 fine. I'll just tidy it while I'm here. I'm still thinking about what I want for the top. I was going to do, like I said, a much darker theme, but I'm liking the idea of sun and sand. All right, see, I've resisted the urge to clean a second room before I'm finished with the first. Okay, what is, what's in there? I like it. Uh, it's wow. This place is going to take forever, but we're, we're good. I already like. I like the the this, the lightness in this room already. Okay. So, do we? What do we want to do on the walls? Well, let's have a look. Wall panels. So what I'm thinking is, um, I don't think I'm going to get this series finished recording by the time the Luxury Flipper DLC comes out. So what I might do is record uh, that onto the end of this one and then start a new series when Pets comes out. Uh, wall tiles, wall papers. I don't think there's anything I really want in the wallpapers. Tempting but too busy, if that makes any sense. And these only come in the one colour that you see, so that's not what I'm after. I could be tempted if they were like blue bits. Alright, let's have a look at wall tiles. I don't think we'll have tiles in the entry hall though. Panels we looked at. Okay, we're down to paint again. Um, you guessed it, we are going to do a blue. It's, it's probably going to be a nice ice blue. This is going to be one of the... No... It's not going to be ice blue. Sleepy pistachio. Azure is nice and dark. Indigo. Indigo is nice. You've got your royal and your sky. Maybe it's sky I was thinking of. See, it's... it's... No, maybe it's royal. Well, it matches the cupboards. Yeah, okay, let's do royal. It clashes the least with the dog's bed. <laughs> These are priorities, man. you got to have something that doesn't clash with the dog's bed, right? This is either going to look horrible or it'll look okay. So what I'm going, like I said, I'm going for a slightly beachy theme. Slightly, very, very slightly, with maybe a little bit of Mediterranean thrown in. And, and having tiles in the atrium would make it a lot easier to um, to clean when you had guests come in with muddy boots. Not that your guests would ever be that rude, but I mean, you never know. I think the plant is blocking. Yeah, what I can paint. Let's just try it from the other side. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Plant. You need to be moved. Pop you over there. And we'll just get this done. Do, do, do. There we go. Just occasionally there's like a collision thing that goes on. It makes life a bit awkward.
I know this is why I rarely use this palm tree because I just can't get it to cooperate with anything. I had it, I think I must have had it out further than I realised. Because so I don't want it sitting way out here. I, you know, I want it to be here, right in close to the wall. All right, so maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll destroy the palm tree just for the minute. Boom. So my thought is, can I get one of these outdoor pots, right? Decorations, garden pots. I know it says garden pot, but what, what if I used? So I think they only come in one colour. Oh no, wait. So what if I use this? Oh, that's too tall. Okay, you, you get my drift though. Maybe, maybe that. Okay, that's too big for what I want. And that's too tall. I, mean, I want kind of that shape, but short. All right, what about this one? Okay. Okay, I don't think it's going to let me put them inside though. Yeah, these are strictly outside pots. There will be no improvising here, young lady. Fine, I'll go back to the plants I'm allowed to have. Okay, I, I still want palm trees, but I don't think I'm going to be able to put them in. So that was the that was the Ravenea rivularis, which just won't fit. Um, the chlorophytum is like a beach grass. We could probably use that. And what have we got? And then we also have your Dracaena or your Monstera. I think I've got the same problem with the Monstera that I have with the palm tree. So let's just see if that's the case. I'm, I, I want, like I said, I want to just be able to put it in closer. Not, you know, half a mile away where it doesn't look like it fits. Uh, okay, so that's not going to let me do it. Um, let's have a look at our Dracaena. Our Dracaena is a lot more cooperative. Uh, it's just, it's still a bit tricky but it's more cooperative than the others. See, it's, that's shorter than I'd like too. But again, we've got that problem with the pot having to be put half a mile away from the wall. However, we could do both and we could then clog, clog up the, the windows as well uh, if we wanted to. We can't put them in here though, which is all right. I thought that I was having. So... I just want this, yeah, I just, I'm trying to avoid using my jokers, right, because Swiss cheese plant, cute. Yeah, no, no, uh, what about, see, like I said, the other thing we could use is this, because it looks a lot like a seagrass, oops, oops that's not what I'm after, but and, oh, actually, you know what, we might put one here. And I might get another one and we'll put it here. So I've got the short plant by the door. And then what we'll do is we'll grab that tall plant we were playing with a minute ago. So the Dracaena looks like the winner today. We're going to win the chicken dinner. Let's just go with that. Uh, pop that there. And also. Alright. Like I said, I wanted a bit, it to be a bit jungly in here as well. Uh, I'm not so sure about the colour on that anymore. Oh wait, I also needed a light switch and I wanted to turn my, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um. All right, well seeing as we're going to play with, uh, play with light switches, let's make, let's make, where are we? We could make an elegant light switch, but I'm, I'm just going to go for modern. I'm just going to pop that. Yeah, we're going to pop that over here. There we are. Now we have a nicely, brightly lit room. All right, now I do want something in here. It is going to have to be the Jukka because I can't get any other plant to cooperate with me in those corners. That's the same height. And having said that, you watch the Jukka not cooperate. That'd be funny. Uh, okay, it'll be funny for you. <laughs> it won't be funny for me. Alrighty. I know. Let's go. Let's go with the, with the tall, straight, and oh so cooperative. Jukka will stick one over here. And we'll put one in here and we'll put okay I'm gonna to have to move Mr. Uncooperative here I'm 
we're just going to back that up and pet it. Grab Mr. Uncooperative and we'll just move him there, which means I'm going to move that and line it up with the wall. That'll do. That's as close as I can get them. All right, so we, we now have Plant City in here. I know at least one client will be happy with that. I was going to put a beach picture there, but do you know what? I'm actually thinking we're going to contrast uh, to, the, to the max with this, and we're going to grab that bicycle picture that we saw uh, in here. Uh, if I could give it some blue tones to it, I would, but I think, I think it's just going to be that. Oh, okay, yeah, no, maybe not. <laughs> Oops, slight miscalculation. All right, let's see if there's any other bicycle pictures in here. I know I haven't really got a gallery for my own for my own pictures. I should probably think about doing that. You can add them to your um, to, to your camera section uh, and there and photos from a camera and photos from the gallery. And I used to have a few in here, but they seem to have gone away. That's okay, let's go back to the store. All right, so what we're gonna do then, if I can't have that bike picture, there is only one other bike picture. Uh, and we're gonna put it in. We're gonna actually off-center it a little bit. Uh, when I can find it. Now, this is skateboard, but I'm thinking we want We'll go with the motorbike instead. We're going to off, actually, no, we're not going to off center it. I'm going to leave it right there. Because uh, it adds a little bit of warmth to the room as well, which helps. Then we're going to grab our shelves. When I find my furniture section and my living room section and my shelf section, uh, we're going to go to now, I'm not quite sure. That's too vivid. Yeah, I think, I think those are too vivid and two in your face. Beige isn't bad and the coffee isn't bad. Not quite what I'm thinking. All right, I, the reason I'm torn is because what, what I do with these shelves is going to influence. Um, I'm thinking that but if I don't use that, what else have I got? So I've got the, no, nothing in the dark. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna use the coffee color. And we've got three bikes, so I'm gonna actually, oops, I needed to do many. They're just the, the tiniest bit off, off kilter. Right, see, so then what we're going to do is we're going to, uh oh, right, I don't know if I can do this. Let's just try. I'll grab that. All right, the top shelf is going to be a pain, but we'll get the other two done first because we can do that from the top of the dog bed. I'm just gonna grab my paint can. I think it'll give me enough enough height. I know that's not safe work health and safety practices. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm thinking. I need to see the top of this shelf. What's your problem? All right. And now it needs something on this side that I don't know what. Actually, maybe it just needs um like a little dangly thing. See, little dangly things. Now I could make it a big dangly thing. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's that's domineering. Let's not do that one. Or we can grab this little dangly thing here. I thought this was smaller. Let me try that again. Yeah, no, no, I wanted it to be about half that size. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So it might be we need to go back to our shelves, back to our, no, not you, back to our coffee shelf and just put 
something here. Uh, now I, I don't know what exactly. Decorations. It may actually have to come out of the accessories, but let's have a quick look. So if you did this, right, with the And then just bring that down to about, I'm going to say about, I'm about to smash a vase, watch. No, I didn't. All right. All right, so this is kind of asymmetrical and very jungly. Let's just... All right, so we've got this really cool blue atrium that you step into and it's got the tiled floors. What I want to do in here is to have something a lot warmer. Uh, so I think we've got time to get started at the very least. Let's just zap out our cans of paint and that and we'll zap that and we'll turn that on. I know, we'll change that in a minute. So basically what I want to do is I want to take out all of this red and I want to put um I know why did I do that I want to put something yellow and bright in here just gonna turn the light on in here if I can find a switch <laughs> all the doilies everywhere are they feathers someone had a party with the feathers little rat all right what do we got I need to put a light in here I right, so put this lovely blue room here and I want to put in um, yellow in this area which of course means that I want to um, I mean I'd love to change this rug I don't think I'm going to it's just that's just gonna have to stay that'll be annoying because it'll mess my color scheme but we'll see what we can get to. Maybe maybe it can lead up to a redder area up here. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Alrighty. First things first, let's do a light. Uh, I want something delicate and maybe swirly. I'm actually quite torn because I didn't want to use the um, that just yet. But it kind of fits. We have a rotation chandelier. We have the rear chandelier as well. I don't want to use the Gravibus yet, but I do want to use it. Actually, the triplicata looks nice. Let's see if we can. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it looks like a little bit too much. Let's try. Let's have a look at the rear. No, it's, it's too dangly. I know. I wanted dangly, and now I'm whining. Shush. You're not helping. Okay, so what I want, I guess, then, is probably we're going to have to go with our, um, because that's, that's definitely not going to work either. It is higher, though. Yeah, no, let's not do that. That, that is too much. All right, so we can go with a circular. You know, it, it looks like a donut on the ceiling. Let's not play with that. All right, let's go with the rotation, then. It, it's not much better but I think, I think it's better than what we had and then we're gonna have a second light zone over here I can't I, I know can has the light zone okay fine so let's just put that on so we can see what we're doing so we've completely changed that area there the next area we want to change is in here so I kind of agree with these little chairs but they're definitely not what I'm after folks for this space so this this space I want to have kind of welcoming there we go um, a kind of welcoming space in here let's just zap that I know I'm not actually going for any clients so um, I'm ignoring them 
that it doesn't hurt them to be ignored. It might hurt their feelings, but but that's okay. They'll, they'll get over it. Uh, I'm not going to go with the, we're going to go with floor panels. And I, I want the really light floor panel pine. So again, we're, we're still sticking to this very beachy kind of theme. Um, just do this bit here. All right. So what I'm trying to create are some really distinct zones. Uh, and then I wanted to put in the yellow. You know, I'm not sure this is actually going to work, but let's paint it anyway, and uh, we'll see. We could, let's just have a quick look at our wallpapers. Uh, I, I want something kind of light. Let's see, so you got your light gray, yeah, no, I, I, but I want it to have a slightly yellow. See, that's, that's lighter. Oh, that's no. I just don't like the pattern. What about the mint leaf? Okay, that's green. Oh, nice. So you have yellow, you have white and grey. This should be blue. Yeah. This is your greens. Okay. This is overwhelming, but let's look at it anyway. Okay, this is like, oh, please, no mercy. Ah, uh, that's green. I didn't realize they came in colors. It's kind of cool. Very tempted to throw that in, but um, that's not the, the feel I'm going for. No, it, it's the pattern. I, I wanted a delicate pattern to go with my yellow because I want the world. Uh, wall tiles, wall panels, plaster, paint, already. So for this room, my original my original plan was to put faded lemon in here. And looking at it, I'm not sure it's strong enough. I, I may have to go with morning yellow. So let's just grab the morning yellow. It may be too yellow and may rip my eyes out, but we'll find out. Um, and if I don't like it, I'll go back to my to plan A. I know the only problem is this red carpet on the stairs. I don't like it. No, we're going for a um, non-compatible. What are you thinking? We're going for colour, all right? Because I like colour and I haven't really played with it. So of course I'm going to take the biggest house on the block and play with colour. And this is beach, so we have our nice sandy, our sandy room, our sunshine, sunshine and sand room. Ah. Uh, I know, I'm not sure I like it as a personal thing, but I mean, I'm playing with a theme, not, not a personal thing. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. Oh no, you never know unless you try it. And that's the fun thing about this game is, um, you can experiment. You do want to do in here. It's growing on me. Anyone who says like a fungus is in trouble. Okay, this is outside, isn't it? Uh, I know. I. That's that's easy to fix. What we can do is we can actually take this door and step it back that way, and we may do that. You know what? I like it. I'm not sure I'd have it in my own house, but I actually like it. Oh my giddy aunt, what am I doing? I know, where are all my sensible colours going? It does not look like a unicorn threw up in it. Come on, be nice. Be nice. All right. Uh, you know what, it's cheery. And I, <laughs> if I could change the carpet, my day would be, my day would be complete. Oh dear. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to make the second segment uh, up here also yellow. 
if only because I now have this yellow trim down here and if I change it here it's actually going to change um, downstairs so let's just see what happens when I do this I know it is oppressively yellow let's do a little bit more oppressive yellowness it's gonna have this white band in the middle you know we could change the color at the white band that would make perfect sense let's just paint it yellow for now but I'm I'm thinking we may we may put blue up here like a, a more a much more calming color yeah I, I'm definitely thinking I'm definitely thinking we might repeat the blue up here oh okay I can't put the paint can on the stairs I'm like what's going on yeah no the paint can did not want to go on the stairs that's my bad Which is weird I mean I expect the landing to be a little bit more cooperative than that but okay excuse me plant okay no I, I'm gonna have to not be lazy and I'm actually gonna have to go and get a, uh, a step ladder hopefully it will fit down there either that or we can walk along the banister let's try that without falling aha uh oh I know because I hate buying step ladders because they never let me take it away in my truck and, and then I have to buy another one for the next job <laughs> what are you doing um stuff why do you ask there we go we need to put plants up here alrighty yeah okay it not not for up here uh definitely not for up here let's just zap that before i get tempted all right so what we might do for up here and i'm actually thinking we might go from the blue to the yellow to the blue uh maybe i'm gonna try it at least and then and then we're gonna discover what what exactly it looks like so let's zip back to our paint and we're gonna go with where is it the royal blue wasn't it Ooh, do I want to do royal blue or do I want to do a lighter blue let's have a look so you've got sky let's just grab this for a minute I might just pop it over here and uh, let's grab our royal no actually we're not doing royal. the only other one I'll, I'll consider at the moment will be ice okay and I'm thinking we may have nailed it with the sky anyway so if we just grab over here yeah I like I like this kind of pallor up here it's cooler and it's it's kind of soothing I know right I oh, know now I've got to walk on the banister again to get it right but the, the contrast I was after, yeah. See, because it's too much yellow with the yellow on the yellow. But what we're doing is building that contrast in is an acceptable thing. Um, there's nothing we can really do about that white line. So that's just going to have to be one of those features. You know, the things you make features because you can't get rid of them. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we're kind of, we, it looks like we're nailing down our color scheme before we even nail down our furniture. I'm, I don't normally do that. I normally do the furniture and then model everything after it. So this is, I know I'm taking a slightly different approach. You can blame the cars in the hallway. They, they were what gave me the vague idea. But I really like the idea of this being a kind of a, a bright, beachy sort of place. And actually, I'm wondering if this is the place to put my my hoop de wire uh, light thing. Hoop de wire, it is soul word. Shh. This thing, the solar chandelier. There we go. Let's grab this thing. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm I'm almost thinking we need something danglier. I know, not dangly enough. Too dangly. Wait, I want more dangly. Oh. 
There's no pleasing some people, really, there's not. Okay. Yes, we definitely want something danglier. All right. Uh, now, I don't think it's going to do what I want to do if I center it, but I'm going to center it just to try it first. There's a light switch here. You know, I really like that. All right, I, I think it needs to be uh, uh, more in line with the window is what I'm trying to get, okay? So it was just like a fraction off. Okay, yeah, so we want that, that kind of little magical glimmer up here. Uh, I'm going to zap the paint we're not using because if I finish this session without finishing, I shall, I'll finish upstairs with the paint. Um, why do I want this room? Oh, yeah, no, no. Give me the hammer. Where's my hammer? I know you, look, you thought I would get through the place without actually taking down the wall. Oh, so did I. I know, I, I, it's a habit. We don't need this blockade in here. What we do need, however, is another light for another light zone. And we're going to need to put those in all the way through. But uh, in the meantime, let's grab our paint. And move it through this way. I know, we're getting there very slowly. So some of you are saying, why do you want to start a new series? And one of the reasons is when I started this series, this is like my first, my first ever foray into, um, into YouTubing and making videos. So I, I just want to, um, you know, it's one of my favorite games. I want to do it justice. I want to, I want to do a better series than this one so that the mistakes I made in the beginning aren't, aren't there. Um, so maybe it, it looks like maybe pets DLC. I'll, I'll do I'll do that. And the exciting thing about that is we're going to have these two major DLCs, um, and they're going to be incorporated right from the very beginning. Well, actually, not two because we've also got the HGTV DLC, and that one is a pretty major series. Uh, I love it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll approach the next series. I'm thinking we might do specific clients for specific houses. Um, just to start with until we've gone through one client at a time because otherwise there we go there we are yeah see that looks a lot better nice and bright and each room in behind here can have its own little theme oh my all right so we have a room with an ensuite we have, I'm pretty sure it's a closet, yeah. I don't know if I want to keep the closet. Uh, okay, one children's room and a bathroom. So we might turn that into a room with an ensuite. This looks like a, a good room for psychomantium. Oh my. Uh, huh, okay, uh, that's another children's room, I guess and another children's room and another so how many bedrooms is that it's one two three four is that all the rooms up here it feels like something's missing All right, no, that, that's fine, we, we've got this. So we're gonna make a different zone behind each door. However, I may take out some more of the rooms yet. I may, I may take out, I mean, I like the idea of the psychomantium. That's, I mean, that's really easy to just, if you go in, we're gonna turn the floor into, let's make it a really cold kind of room. So we'll grab the floor. 
you know what I'm, I'm really liking the idea of actually sticking in tread plate but tread plates noisy and it would make the room echo wouldn't it instead of having quiet contemplation you might have noisy contemplation I don't think that would work very well let's so, okay let's go with coverings and let's go with a white carpet in here right just to just to deaden the sound down just a bit there we go so we'll, we'll do that and then and then pretty much all you need for psychomantium is a mirror and we won't use the fancy cyberpunk mirror because that will give us um I wonder if more than one mirror would work. No, it looks like it's going to just be a one mirror place. So there. Turn that on because I can. You know. And uh, then all, all the other thing you just need for a psychomantium is a, uh, is a chair. So we'll go into, in, into our furniture and we'll go into our dining room. And we'll find ourselves a, um, a chair. And I'm thinking maybe like something like the Luilo. Because you're not going to be focused on much if you're uncomfortable. Possibly the chair more. That looks... Or the light-coloured Ilks. Ilks is kind of fancy. The Gilbert's nice and austere. I like that too. Let's go with the Gilbert and we'll just make it really light. And then we just turn it round. And this is your Psychomantium. Because it's a tiny, tiny room. Um, it needs a light in it. We'll, uh, we'll give, we'll get some nice lighting, I suppose, to just finish it off. And the other thing that I should do is I should repaint it because the clients notice when you don't paint a wall. So we might just grab some white paint um, and we'll pop that in. That this is overkill for this room. Let me assure you. Holy dooly! All right, let's just get the wall done. Uh, Here's my paint, and we, this is going to just be a plain white. So there's there's absolutely no distraction in here for someone who wants to contemplate the world, the meaning of life, and uh, all of that. And the clients will be happy because the walls will be clean. So um, you know, if you if you're in a big house like this, it might be good to just have quiet space like this it looks like I've got all of the wall how can I tell because I have this perk that won't let me paint over where I've painted before with that color uh, and that means by just brushing this way we'll find it now I am going to change the door if only because I want to paint in here all right Let's zip this way yeah okay so let's grab a, uh, a door for in here now I would I would normally use a solid core door but if someone wants to be alone then you kind of need to know that they're in there so what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a Cameo interior or maybe an interior car I don't know I could go with a Capulus no I, I think I think we'll go with this maybe I oh, know we want the top one to be glass but we want everything else to be wooden because uh, what we're doing is we're letting the person inside have some have some privacy and and that means um, what what can happen is you can see them you can see the light on inside and the mirror and that way you know you know someone's in there and you won't disturb them ha, hopefully hopefully we would we would hope that everyone would be that um that consider it so there we go so this session we've started uh we've got our psychomantium all done we've had a little bit of a look at the house uh we've got our color scheme going for our upstairs hallway and our downstairs entryway 
and our atrium so that's all done so I think next session what we're going to do I know that red carpet is bothering me but I can't fix it um, next session what we're going to do is we're going to come into this space and we're going to just put in like a little reading area here like there was and then I might work my way along here and we might put some some shelves maybe a fish tank we're going to continue our um, our beach plants and odd bits of bric-a-brac throughout the house theme we're going to do that so uh, next episode we'll do the this hallway and then I don't know we may have to have a look in here this house is wow is enormous we might make this the artist's room what do you reckon we can put an art desk and everything in there uh, over here okay this is our it's a second dining room all right we'll clean up once we get there okay I may make this this room an office so this room could be an office this is our dining room wait there's no living room if I do that though is there oh wait yes there is this can be the living room no you know what we can do we're going to take out this entire wall and we're going to make this one massive living room or we're going to do a living room no living room family room I had a thought there living room office family room kitchen dining room uh oh oh okay that's not as bad as I thought it was we'll take out a few of those doors though okay but on that note I'm going to leave you thank you so much for hanging with me if you've enjoyed this episode please hit like if you want to see more please hit subscribe and I'll check you later. Take care out there.